All right, so I got the Land Cruiser out of here. Just wanted to show you guys a nice oil leak that it's got. And then that one looks like transmission, like 90 weight. So we'll just kick some rags over it for now. But the next project we got going on, I got that out of there because we're gonna pull in my Harley golf cart. So this will be the first time I show this on the channel. Uh, I'll see if I can add in some uh, before pictures because this thing has made it an amazing transformation. It's kind of dirty right now, but we're going to push this in the shop and we got some work to do to it. So here we go. So that's kind of a little history on the Harley golf cart. I bought it at the 2019 PIR swap meet. Uh, I was walking by looking at it. The guy said, make me an offer. And I was thinking, Jessica is going to kill me if I buy this thing. So I said, a hundred bucks. And he said, I'll take it. And I was thinking to myself, crap, now I own a Harley golf cart. Anyways, it sat for a while. I put that red Briggs and Stratton in there. We took it to King of the Hammers. We blew it up. Uh, my buddy donated his 420. We did a swap out there. We had to do some welding and everything out in the desert at King of the Hammers. And I brought it back home, painted it. Uh, that's what I've done up to this point. All right. So here's the Harley cart. It's 1970. It's got only got three wheels. It's got a cool little bed. You can put stuff in, or actually they make seats back here. Someone can just sit, pop a squat in the back. Two people can. Uh, it's got a cool little panel here. It's got front and rear lights. A cool little LED light bar and some, just some tiny little tail lights. So people can see, see you at night. And uh, oh, keys in the house, I think. But yeah, it's got a little tack. And this is engine temperature. So what we got going on here. Ugh, is. A 420 Predator. Uh, so this thing used to have a two stroke in it. And that thing was toast. It was all seized up. There wasn't a head on it. It was missing all kinds of stuff. So swapped it out for this 420 Predator. All right. So when I first put this thing together, I put it together with this 40 series torque converter because it was cheap. 
uh, this torque converter here is a 780 series and it matches the actual driven pulley much better than this little 40 series. 40 series belt sits all the already like most of the way down inside the pulley. So that's one of the problems. You're missing out on a lot of torque by having that all the way down in the bottom of that, that pulley already. The 780 series belt, as you can see, is going to be a much better fit. So there's the 780 and the 40 series next to each other. Hey Luna. Uh, on top of that, the diameter is massively different. So now, well it's hard to see like that, but so now uh, when this thing closes and goes into overdrive, you have this much larger outer diameter spinning it. With this one, it's so much smaller. This should give us a better top speed, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And obviously, it's a lot more durable. And there's blue. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to test fit this pulley in this belt. And see if we came up with something close. Because I already ordered one belt and ended up being too short. So, hopefully... This one is long enough. I'm gonna set you up here somewhere and I need to pull, I need to pull the exhaust off and probably some other stuff. hard to see through the camera but I basically marked out some lines here and I measured the bolt spread I think I'm gonna have to notch this side as well and bring it out closer to the edge so bolt spreads like seven and three quarters so that bolt's just right over here I hope that it's enough to get that belt tight so I'm gonna take the grinder I'm gonna notch I'm gonna drill
All right, folks, we're back at it again. Another day in the garage. Got the wood stove going again. It's It was in the 20s this morning when I got out here. Anyway, so we got the engine in here. We got the pulley on. I still have to put the rest of the bolts in the engine and cinch it down. But uh, I think it's ready to go. Uh, we might have to pull the pulley back off again to align it better, but I think I got it. Uh, so we need to put the carburetor back on, just do a bunch of stuff, and wrap this thing up and hopefully take it for a ride. She's a little cold blooded, but it's cold in here. So I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up and then take the sucker for a ride. Felt great. Top speed is a lot more than it was, which is what we're looking for. More bottom end torque, also what we're looking for. Uh, looks like I overfilled it a little bit. I thought it might have. I have to put a little extra oil in this thing because it sits at an angle and uh, we don't want it to run out of oil, but it's definitely got a little too much in it because it's burning it. It's shooting it out the tailpipe. So uh, that's about it for this project. All right, you guys have a good day. 
All right, everybody, so that's it on the Harley cart. Uh, expect to see it back. It needs uh, a stereo and an alternator in the future. Um, but next, we're going to be working on my Imperial. It needs a uh, transmission shifter seal replaced and fuel sending unit needs attention. Just a couple of small things to uh, get it ready to sell so I can work on some other projects. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless, and we will see you next time.